Well, thanks. And joining us now are Christina Diaz and Ryan Essington, and they are from Ned Ministries, and we are happy to have them here. And uh, maybe if, uh, Ryan, you could start off by uh, talking a little bit about how you got involved with Ned Ministries. Uh, I served with Net Ministries for the first time as a missionary last year, uh, for the 2008-2009 Net year. And uh, before that, I really hadn't had any exposure to Net. Um, I, was a fr I had a friend in Indiana um, who was studying to be a priest, and he had been on Net in the past, and so he suggested that it might be a good thing for me to do. Um, and then I also uh, was a friend of a Net alum who was really active in youth ministry. And so he, he kind of introduced it to me as well. And so I had this idea of, of this missionary program for youth um, in the back of my mind, but I was more focused on school and getting college finished and stuff like that. But eventually I, I just felt some conviction on my heart, like I want to do something different. I was going through school. Um, I was in my second year of college, uh, undergraduate work, and I felt like the Lord was calling me to take a year off and, and to serve in, in some greater capacity and so I, I looked up NET and it, I was pretty confident that, that that was the missionary field that I wanted to go into is working with young people. So through a couple of friends they introduced me to it. I got on the website and I uh, decided okay I'm going to fill out an application. I drove up to Minnesota for the first time and it's a 10 hour trip from Indiana. I didn't know really what I was getting myself into but I knew that it was something the Lord was calling me to. And I interviewed uh, for a weekend. They have a weekend retreat a program that they do for for people interested in serving as missionaries. I went there and after that weekend I was pretty confident if I was accepted to the program I was going to go go forth and do it. So it's been it's been a great blessing ever since. Awesome. How about you, Christine? I my youth minister uh, throughout high school was a part of NET um, and came back and was just alive and wanted to bring young people closer to Christ and knew a lot about his faith. Um, and so it stirred an interest. And as I heard about NET and then going throughout different parishes and so forth, um, I met more alumni. And I was realizing that each individual was so different from one another that this person that was a netter wasn't a cookie cutter um, of a person. And so I looked it up online. And then they had an interview weekend um, near my hometown, and so I got a little bit more interested, and Net had invited me to a two-week program that is based in Minnesota. Um, it's just a training uh, for young adults, and um, it's called the Discipleship Evangelization Program. And so I attended that and uh, discovered my Catholic faith in a new way and just had this burning fire to make an impact on the church. Um, so when I returned home, I uh, became middle school youth minister, confirmation coordinator, and after that year was completing, uh, I thought, you know, I want to go back to NET and give back what I received from NET, and maybe I'll be equipped more so uh, to give back to my community that had already done so much in California. And so I, in 07 and 08, I um, applied and was accepted and, and served and have been formed so much more and received so much from the ministry. So, Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. well, Ryan, maybe you could talk about, I know a lot of people know for, about the retreat teams and stuff, but there's a, there's a parish team as well. Maybe if you could talk about the differences and, and how that is. Absolutely. Well, in 1981, that started as a retreat ministry, people traveling around uh, the country putting on retreats for young adult Catholics, um, particularly junior high and high school students. And um, just about four or five years ago, they thought, what would it be like for one of these retreat teams to stay in the community for an entire you know, school year, what would be the impact in that community? So I believe it was in 2004 they decided to implement what they call a parish team. And the parish team basically is invited by one of the pastors of the local parishes and they're, they serve as evangelists in the community. They're not necessarily the youth ministry program but they work alongside the already established youth ministry program. Um, and what they do, it's a beautiful opportunity. I was on a parish team last year, and, and what we got to do was go out into the community, seek young people where they hang out, whether it's at school, we would go to their lunches, we would serve lunch with the lunch ladies, whether it was at a, an athletic event, um, basketball games, football games, whether it was at the local coffee shop or wherever the young people hang out, we would go there and meet them and just form relationships with them. And 
through forming relationships with them and investing in them, they saw that here's a, you know, a young adult in, in the community who's alive with their faith, who actually cares about me and cares about what I'm doing in my life. You know, maybe, maybe I can check out what they're doing. And so we'd invite them to the youth ministry programs that the church had or invite them to come to Mass with us. And the idea is through forming relationships with the young people in that particular community, we could lead them in a closer relationship with Christ and also into a relationship with the people in the community um, so that they can seek more opportunities uh, to pursue their faith life. I know you, you both are, are supervisors as well, and maybe, Christina, if you could talk about that experience, what, what you do as a supervisor, maybe having been involved with NET before, how that has helped you maybe as a supervisor. Yeah, absolutely. This year we have 101 young adults who come and serve with the ministry, and so as supervisors, it's our goal that we can care for uh, these young adults as they serve their year. So we provide um, further, we provide training um, that they receive throughout the year. Um, this training is based on their pro personal relationship with Christ, how they proclaim the gospel, um, and how they uh, really um, live out to be Christians. Um, and so we provide the training, and then we also pray with these uh, young adults. Um, we go on four visits uh, throughout the year. Uh, currently, Ryan and I are in this, the area um, to visit one of our teams, and so we pray, interact, we do team building activities, helping them establish community and how to live in community life that they do. Um, and so it has been a joy to walk with them in that. And then for ourselves, NET has continually formed us. Um, we live in community as well. We live in a men's household and a women's household. Um, and NET has provided several tra training as well. And um, and it's been uplifting and sustaining us in our own walk with the Lord. So that's what are you doing there? Yeah. Well, Ryan, um, maybe if you could, as we leave here, tell people uh, if anybody's interested or young people out there watching this now, how do they get involved? How do they find out more about that? Yeah, absolutely. After I uh, interacted with um, some of the alumni from, from Net Ministries, they, they uh, directed me to the website. It's uh, netusa.org. And I looked at that website and it's very detailed. You can follow Team Life on that website. You can learn about what it means to be a net missionary and, and what it means to serve in a missionary capacity on that website. And then there's also the application on there. So you can print that out and fill it out and send it to us uh, up, up in West St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, please, please look at the website. It's got wonderful information. Um, not only on how you can get retreats to come to your area, but if you're a young person, if you're a young adult seeking something greater, it, the website can just give you that information. You can get in contact with us from that website. You can get in contact with our recruiting director. Um, it's, it's a really good tool uh, for those who are seeking greater opportunities to serve the Catholic Church in a missionary capacity. Excellent. Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Christina, for being here. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you, and we'll be back right now with more of This is the Day.